everyone, I am back. It is Sunday afternoon, and for those curious, my me day is going great. <laughs> I have done a bunch of nothing. Um, I've also had some creative time, which has been great, and some time to rest and relax. And now, part of my resting and relaxing is spending some time in my bullet journal. And the very next thing that I want to do is get set up for my week ahead. So I'm going to turn the page here, and we're going to set up my entire weekly spread. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering about this big blank space here, but I have plans for that. And you'll see that in Monday's, tomorrow's, which when you're watching this will be today's, <laughs> today's regular video, you'll see what I do with this blank space. Anyway, I'm going to turn the page and set up for the week ahead. Okay, now you probably noticed these pens on my desk and these are from the folks over at Papermate. They sent some of their flares my way and these are the new flare candy pop colors. They are more of a pastel um, color palette, which is really, really cool, and I love them. I tested them out in another one of my notebooks just to see how they would do, and no bleed through at all, so I'm excited about that. So I think I'm going to use these to set up my weekly spread this week. So we're going to go for it. Of course, I love the teal, so I'm going to go with that <laughs> to start. Let's see how it looks. purple. <laughs> I've been really loving purple lately. I don't know what it is. I didn't used to be a purple girl, but for some reason I'm really enjoying it. So we've got her all set up. Now it's time to write everything on top. I think this week I'm going to go with gray. I think gray is going to look really pretty. This is my Lamy All Star and the ink I have in here is Graf von Faber-Castell Stone Gray. That's a mouthful, but it's a beautiful, beautiful shading gray and I love it. You'll notice here I changed this from last week. Instead of notes, which I didn't use at all, I'm actually changing this to meals. So my plan is to write down what meals I want to have this week here at home and shop for those meals and then each and every day I can just pick from that list and I know that I have all the ingredients on hand. So that's going to be my really simple minimalist form of meal planning for the week. Okay, so let's get appointments in. This is where I check my calendex, anything from the 20th through the 26th. Let's see. Ooh, I got a lot of appointments. Uh, page 151, the 20th, I have a 10 a.m. interview. Okay, page 155. 
on the 21st at 11 a.m. I have a podcast interview. And then on the 22nd, page 156. On the 22nd, I'm having lunch with my friend Anthony. That's awesome at noon. Okay, so those are my appointments. My schedule for this week is, oh, you know what? There was a dot on there too, wasn't there? I think on the 20th. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, there's a mint green dot, which means birthday, and I happen to know that's my sister's birthday. Okay, so that's my sister's birthday. Now, schedule. On YouTube? Okay, on YouTube, I'm gonna have a doodle with me video. Etsy, I will print and cut orders. Tuesday, I will have a blog post up. And I'll have to check my editorial calendar to see what that is. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Friday's YouTube video is going to be my new plan with me for March. Okay, and then again, I'm going to have to look at my editorial calendar for the blog post. Off the top of my head, it's not coming to me. All right, and then I also know that the new challenges for March are going to get posted this upcoming week. So Wednesday is going to be the plan with me challenge and Friday is going to be rock your handwriting okay so this side is finished let's move on to current projects and I'm just going to check from last week I've got handwriting course still in the works I'm gonna to get to hire my employee this week. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, and then personal projects. I'm still doing booty yoga, still working in my mastery journal, and then I've actually taken steps towards hiring my personal trainer, so I'm very, very excited about that. And let's go with tasks. We shall migrate these unfinished ones over. Horizon are still my lettering course and then as a task this week I'm gonna move this weekend getaway up to my task list okay I'm gonna say plan weekend getaway all right and then let's plan out some meals down here So I've got some meals planned out down there at the bottom. Now I want to go back to my past week and migrate or show that things have been migrated. So I'm going to grab the pen that I used last week, which was my new Lamy All-Star Pacific, and let's migrate some things over. So handwriting course, still in progress blog redesign, didn't even work on it this week. Welcome sequence, I actually finished. And new employee hire, office overhaul, closet purge. 
Hopefully I'll have more time <laughs> once I get someone hired to finish some of my around the house projects. I really, really want to. All right, now this is something I thought of during the week and that is that I already have these arrows and these I drew to show that I had moved them to a daily task list. So I want to differentiate what I moved to a daily task list and what I migrated forward to the next week. So I'm just going to draw my arrows a little bit differently for the weekly migration. So that is my solution. Okay, so this is all done. Let us keep that there because I'm still in my current week. Um, but yeah, this is it. We're all set up for the week ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up for Monday now, and we should be good to go. Actually, I'm gonna move this. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be Monday, and it will be time to use the new weekly. All right, here we go. Let's do I'm gonna do my regular faux calligraphy cursive this week. task list. I know I have this appointment at 10 a.m. And then I am actually going to go back to my last open daily, which was yesterday, Saturday, and I'm going to transfer over those unfinished tasks. So handwriting course and dusting and vacuuming. which I now know how to spell <laughs> thanks to you guys on my last video. Oh, such a hot mess. Okay, and then tomorrow's Monday, so I will be printing and cutting orders. And it's my sister's birthday, so I'm gonna actually scribble that over here. Okay, and let's see. Printing and cutting orders, I have an interview, handwriting course, dusting and vacuuming. I feel like that's a pretty good day. I'm gonna add maybe one or two from my task list for the week. Let's do, you know, Mondays can be no fun. Let's do, <laughs> um, maybe I'll work on, yeah, I'm gonna work on my new headers for Facebook and YouTube. So that's gonna be my day tomorrow. And I have a 10 a.m. interview, which means I'm gonna to try to get into the office. Hmm, let's see if I end my morning routine here, get into the office, I'll be at the office by nine of my interview right around that 10 o'clock hour. Take a lunch break. And then I wanna be home by six. That is my plan. 
All right, so we're gonna let all of this dry for a second and go back and do monthly spreads. Gratitude. It's right sideways, that'll be fun. Tracker. Ah, I have all of the pens everywhere. Okay. So I tried to sleep in again today <laughs> and I made it to six o'clock, which was pretty impressive. But I still woke up by 6 a.m. so that still gets colored in. Um, I did not do booty yoga today, and I'm not going to because I don't feel like it, and it's a me day. <laughs> so there. I'm also not eating clean today. I'm going to eat some pasta for dinner. It's going to be amazing. All right, we're going to mark off me day. This is so exciting. I'm going to try to have another one before the month is over. Remind me of that. <laughs> All right, hydrating. Yes. And bed by 11, I don't know yet. Budget review, no. Blog post, no. Instagram, yes. Okay. And then self-care. I'm in an excellent mood today, which is no surprise, considering I'm taking the whole day to do whatever I want to do. Um, diet, not so much today. Activity, pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then sleep, eight. All right. Let's do a time log. Spent three hours on my morning routine this morning. It was so great. And then Inko Rimo letters, I'm actually gonna fill this in probably tomorrow. I've still got some letters I'm gonna finish up while we're hanging out watching Netflix. So I'm gonna fill that in later. And Mood Mandala, here we go. Today, definitely relaxed, but also happy. I'm gonna go with happy. So a nice yellow. So I think in order to save a little bit of time today, since this is typically my longest video every week, I'm going to wait. Normally at this point I would go ahead and start doodling some more of my mandala on here, but I think I'm going to wait until next video so that this one isn't quite so long. So let's get back to my daily page and color this in and we're going to call it a day. Okay, so got everything planned out here. Let's do sleep. Let's do morning routine. And then work. And then my one appointment tomorrow is at 10. Let's do the moon. Okay, 
we are good to go, all set up for Monday, all set up for the entire week, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.